Well, hello, good people. You know, one of the most common questions I get about Suno AI is, can you separate the music tracks? The simple answer is no. However, there's an app called BandLamp that we can use that will achieve just that. So I'm going to demo how I do this between Suno and BandLabs. This isn't an in-depth tutorial as I normally do, but I do want to share some simple steps if you want to follow along. Now in Suno, we're using custom mode and style of music, I just put funk, jazz, upbeat, mid-tempo. As for the tags, you don't necessarily have to use verse and chorus for this type of instrumental song. So I started off with intro, syncopated bass, melodic trumpet, percussion break, and big finish. Then we have end here. So once you've clicked create and it generates the song, you should get something that sounds similar to this. I love the vibe. So the vibe sounds great, but it's a little flat. And to be very honest, there's not much you can do in terms of improving the horn section, for example. But we can probably apply a little bit of EQ, some effects to just bring out the sound more so it doesn't sound so flat. So once you have a song that you like, click on the three dots here and we're going to select download audio. It'll save it as an MP3 file. Next, you want to head over to bandlab.com slash splitter. As always, I'll leave a link in the description below. You do have to register though with like a Google account. But once you do that, it's really simple. All you have to do is click on import a new song, select the song, and it's going to take a few seconds to generate. And when it generates, you'll see here that it's separated the track. So I'm going to play it really quickly. And we're going to solo the drums. Look at that, nice and clear. We're gonna solo the bass. You can see, I should say you can hear how crappy the bass sounds. Very muddy. So at this point, you can actually just click on download all stems and it's going to separate the files for you. As you see, I've got a drum track, a bass track, vocals for another tune I was doing. But what's even better, if we click on open in studio, you see that it lays it out in its separate tracks for us, ready to go. But we can do things like, let's say we select the drum track. Down here is where our effects are, so let's click on that. And a quick way to do this is to utilize their presets. Now if we click on the drop down here, we see that we have quite a few options to select from. I'm going to choose enhanced and there's this one here called mellow drums. Now what this is going to do, it's going to tighten up the sound, give it a little reverb. These two buttons here, M is to mute, S is to solo. So we're going to select solo so that we just hear the drums. So let's take a listen without the effects. Sounds okay, kind of flat though, right? Now I'm going to pop on the effects. Right away you hear the snare and the reverb, right? Maybe I want to bring the kick drum up a bit. Bring the mids down. A little bit of the highs. Let's turn it off again. Really boxy, right? Pop it back on. Let's hear it in the mix. So as you can see, you can improve the sound a little bit. I would do the same with the bass, but once again, there's only so much you can do. Now I have another song to demo, which has vocals. So let me play it here. Woke up this morning. Just like every day 
you can hear that reverb. It's a little Got strong. Let's play it again without the effects, and then I'm gonna pop it on. Broke out this morning, just like every day. Doesn't sound too bad actually Got on its them own. To five, blues, they won't go away. Okay, with the effects. Clock keeps ticking. Time just won't slow down. Now, obviously, there's a lot of capabilities. If you're new to all this, it looks like a lot. I'll definitely dive deeper and do more of a beginner tutorial for Band Labs. But for those of you that are familiar with audio programs, Band Labs is a great way to complement Suno AI just to get a bit more quality out of the tracks you're getting. And you can do so much more. We can add tracks, whether you're recording vocals, you can do virtual instruments, drum machines, you could plug in your guitar. So if I click on virtual instruments, you see here, we can actually use our keyboard to play piano. And then the drop down, we can even select, you know, the type of instrument we want. Let's say, let's do a classic rock drum kit. You see here. really hard to play on the keyboard so I'm not gonna even try you get my point there's even like some voices here choir synth and if you're into pre-made loops and sounds if you click on band lab sounds here there's a whole list of things if there's a pack section if we select one of these There's a loop section here. If you go into the filter section here, we can select, you know, drums, beats, and then see what comes up. <laughs> kind of cool. There's so much you can do. It's worth its own video. So if you want to see that video, more of a beginner tutorial, let me know in the comments below. And if you're wondering about AI music, Asuno AI is a great one to start with. Make sure to check out this video. Until the next one, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.